I'm Jill Bearup, and this episode of Bright Side is about the Lady Gaga of the caterpillar world. Have you ever heard of the gum leaf skeletonizer? If you live in its native Australia or New Zealand, then maybe you have. But seeing as statistically speaking most of you are American, maybe not. It's a kind of moth, and as its incredibly metal name suggests, we're gum leaf skeletonizer, but we might change our name. The larvae's collective appetite for gum trees is pretty formidable. Rabaluchen's larvae are oddens by caterpillar standards. I mean, they've been nicknamed both unicorn caterpillars and mad hatterpillars. And why the Alice in Wonderland pun, you ask? Because the caterpillar, after the fourth molt or so when it sheds its exoskeleton, doesn't get rid of the head part like it does the rest. Nope, it just stays attached. And since the caterpillars can molt up to 13 times before they spin themselves cocoons, the gum leaf skeletonizer caterpillar can end up with quite a collection of little, well I hesitate to call them skulls, but the invertebrate exoskeletal equivalent? Kind of stuck to their heads in a sort of horn formation. Come on, look at that headgear and tell me Lady Gaga isn't making notes for her next Super Bowl performance. Why did they do this? Well, research by Peter Lowe at the University of Sydney suggests that they use their quasi-hat horns to fend off attacks. Also that the horn confuses predators, leading them to attack the horn rather than the caterpillar's vulnerable body. And both of these things mean that in an encounter with a predator it takes longer for the caterpillar to be killed. Peter Lowe also performed an experiment where she put 600 of these caterpillars in groups of 10 onto different gum trees leaves. One set of groups all had their horns removed, one set of groups all had their horns intact, and the third group had a mix of both. After eight days, the survival rate for the caterpillars across all groups was about one in six, because it's a hard life out there. And it turned out that groups of caterpillars who all had head shells didn't perform significantly better than groups of caterpillars who didn't. But in a mixed group, the caterpillars with horns were twice as likely to survive. So the lesson we can take here is that if you're more fabulous than your neighbour, you're more likely to live. Regardless of the evolutionary reasoning for it, you rock on with your crown of skulls or rabalugens. Other caterpillars wish they were as cool as you.